Hi, I'm Mark. Welcome back to Foothill Paint Fabrication. Well, we're back on the 65 Chevelle, and today we're going to paint the radiator support and the frame. Now, I was originally going to paint everything gloss black, the firewall, the frame, the radiator support, both sides, everything gloss. But uh, I've, I've got some semi-gloss black, actually it's Rust-Oleum, and uh, I really like the way the frame looked after I sprayed that etching primer on there. It was kind of a semi-gloss, and I think it looked really good. So we're going to go ahead and just spray the frame and the radiator support. And the radiator support uh, was originally kind of a semi-gloss or a flat sheen. Uh, so when you look through the grill, I really didn't want, uh, you know, a full gloss back behind there. So we're going to go ahead and spray this today real quick and shoot a super quick video. We're going to get this sprayed and then we're going to let it dry. And then we're going to get to that firewall in the inner fender wells on another video. So let's bust this out real quick and get this thing that much closer to going back together. Okay, today we're going to be using Rust-Oleum. This is a semi-gloss. Uh, it's about half a quart in here, which is more than enough to spray what I need to spray today. Um, and I usually like to reduce this with acetone to spray. Uh, it's pretty, uh, pretty hot in the shop right now. It's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. It's about 86, 87 degrees in the shop. And as soon as I turn the exhaust fans on, it's going to get hotter. It's probably uh, 100, 101 outside right now. So I'm going to reduce this down a little bit with some lacquer thinner. It will uh, uh, flash off slower than the acetone and uh, give me the nice spray I want, but not get any dry spots. So let's get some of this stuff mixed up and get it sprayed on that frame. Okay, I've got the black reduced down about three to 5% with some lacquer thinner. It's ready to go, it's in the gun. We're gonna start spraying uh, underneath first, and then I'll come on top and get that and get climb inside. Uh, everything's been blown off and tacked off carefully, so it's all ready to go. Um, all we gotta do is put the respirator on and uh, crawl underneath the car and get, get to it. Okay, got the first coat on. We're just going to put two coats on this. This paint's pretty thick, so it covers pretty heavily. So we're going to let this flash off a little bit. Think about this stuff, you don't want to pile it on there. Even though it's, it's, it won't run, you don't want to pile it on because it'll just sit there and not dry properly. So you want to make sure you let it flash off and dry some in between coats. It'll remain sticky, so it'll accept the second coat, no problem. But if you just rush it because it's not running, uh, it'll just sit there and take forever to dry and cure out all the way. So all in all, it's looking really good. Pretty happy the way it looks. It's going to dry uh, not as shiny, so which is what we're looking for here. So I'm going to let this flash off. We'll get the second coat on here, and we will be done. Okay, it's looking good. I let the paint 
flash off uh, 15, almost 20 minutes now. It's warm in the shop, but I did apply it very heavy, so I wanted to make sure I got good coverage. And that paint is fairly viscous. It doesn't like to run unless you really pile it on. So I want to let it dry really good between coats. So I'm going to jump in here, get the second coat on it, clean the gun, and we'll be done. Go jump in the pool. Okay, all done. Gun is clean, paint is drying. It'll lose some of that gloss sheen uh, as soon as it dries completely. But uh, for right now, I think it looks fantastic. Got the radiator support both sides. Everything's looking really, really good. Next step for this thing will be getting the firewall painted and getting those inner fender wheels painted gloss black. So I've got a lot nicer paint for that and we'll be jumping on that next. But all in all, Really happy to get this busted out. It's a little hot in the shop right now, so this paint should dry pretty quick. Okay, guys, that pretty much wraps it up for today. Got the frame and the radiator support painted, uh, semi-gloss. It's looking really, really good. I'm really happy the way it turned out. What'd you guys work on today? Come on, get back out in that garage, shop, driveway, street. I don't care where you're working on it. Get back on those projects. I know you guys got a, a project or two going, so get out there. Get some work done on it, take some progress pics, and email those to me. I'd love to post them at the end of the video so everybody else can see what's going on in your lives. So uh, we're getting that much closer. We're going to get some gloss paint uh, sprayed on the firewall and the inner fender wells next. And that means we're getting that much closer to start putting this poor car back together. Got it stripped down pretty much to nothing. The only thing left in it is the rear end, and that's got to come out too. But it had to stay in so we could roll this back and forth a little bit. Thanks for joining me here at Foothill Paint Fabrication. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't already, and mash that bell icon so you get notifications every time I release a new video. We'll see you on the next one.